Hey y'all, welcome to a new vlog. My name is Sonali. Today is Friday and it is currently 2 p.m. I was planning on vlogging, but then I woke up and then it was a gloomy day and I just did not feel the motivation to do anything, but I wanted to update you guys on some stuff and I also have a very freaking exciting package to open. Y'all know I'm the biggest tech geek. I love investing into my camera stuff. Um, if you didn't know, I do freelance photography and videography on the side, so it's very easy to justify my purchases because it's not only for YouTube, but it also can be for, you know, my freelance career. So I actually bought a new lens and it is actually more for just vlogging, so it's more for my YouTube, but I mean, I could use it for, um, portrait sessions even though I don't think I would because it is a wide angle lens and basically what my thought process was is that I've been seeing so many um like vloggers have these really cool wide angle lenses and currently I'm filming on the Sony Ace what <laughs> Sony A5100 and I want to start filming on my Sony A7 III <laughs> did you want to say something Ryan so I shoot um, portrait sessions with my Sony a7 III, which is um, a way nicer camera. It has way better quality. So I kind of wanted to start vlogging with that lens. But the only wide angle lens I have for that camera is a 24 millimeter, which, okay, I don't know if this is gonna all make sense, but right now I'm filming on the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. And Basically, this camera that I'm filming on is a crop sensor, so it's like a point and shoot um, and a full frame would get like so much more like photo in or like video. So basically, a crop sensor would get just this picture, right? But a full frame would get this much of the picture. So what I'm trying to say is that this lens is a 16 millimeter, but it actually looks like a 24 millimeter because it's a crop sensor camera. And unfortunately, this lens is a APS-C which is a crop sensor lens. So it can't even go onto my Sony a7 III because it's a full frame camera. So even if you try to put this on there, it has like vignetting. I don't even know if this is all making sense to you guys. I'm just kind of going on a ramble because I love this shit, but I wanted to get a wider angle lens for my big camera. I always carry two cameras around, which is actually very excessive. I carry this little one, which is not so little because this lens is kind of big and then my big camera for the cinematic b-roll and my vlogs i don't want to do that anymore like i just want to carry around one camera and just be done with it but the only thing is that this sony a7 III is a lot bigger it's a lot chunkier and if i do want to vlog like this in public and not just get like b-roll and be like slick about it and like kind of just like do it like right here and not look too weird in public i'm gonna have to have a lot of confidence to uh vlog with this big ass camera in my hand so we're gonna test it out we're gonna see what it looks like um another thing about this new lens is that it has a higher aperture than what i like to shoot with i love lower apertures because you can see the blurry background and the background is just not as in focus as like a 2.8 like i said this lens right now is a 1.4 so it gives that really pretty bokeh we're gonna try it out today please 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 comment down below do you guys like this camera do you like this quality or do you guys like the quality that I'm going to show you. Do you care about the blurry background? Does it make my videos look more high quality if I have the blurry background? Like, let me know what you guys want to see because I just need some input and I need for y'all to help me decide. Okie dokie, time for an unboxing. So I purchased this lens on Amazon because I noticed that they had a really cool bundle thing that was literally the same price as the lens itself on Amazon. So I was like, I mean, might as well just go for the bundle, get all these cool little accessories. So this lens with tax and everything, I think it was like $970. Why is my heart pounding right now? Here it is y'all. This is the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter F 2.8. So like I said, it is a much higher aperture, but I actually went to precision camera, I think two days ago. And I just like going in there, kind of talking about lenses because I'm just like weird like that. Um, just like to find out, you know, what I can like save up for. I just always like to think about how I can get better quality. I've always been like that <laughs> ever since I started YouTube, which is great because like I said, since I am a freelance videographer and photographer, maybe not this lens would be one I use, but 
every other lens I use for the cinematic shots, I use for my portrait sessions. And so they pay themselves off, which is great. All right, should we unbox it? Or should we unbox the accessories first? I think we should do the accessories. All right, so this says the inflatable camera air insert for your air bags backpack can be inflated. Oh, I forgot. This is literally a backpack. <laughs> I got a full freaking backpack in this bundle. That's pretty cool. And then these things can inflate to be like, I don't know, holders in the backpack. That's pretty cool. We have this little thing which is like an air blower, so it can like clean your sensor and your lenses. It came with this hand strap, and then it came with this cool little tripod. You can put your camera on here and like really just hold it to be really stable with those beautiful cinematic shots, and then you can also crank it out to be a tripod for your camera. All right, y'all, it is time to reveal the lens. I have never purchased a Tamron lens before because I will say it, I'm a brand snob and Tamron just always sounded like a very cheap option and I was always really skeptical about it. But when I went in to check it out and like, you know, I tested the autofocus and everything, it was totally fine. Like, I don't know why I was being such a snob this whole time. Um, so I got this baby. Let's put it on my Sony a7 III. I'm currently filming on both cameras. I have the Sony a5100 with my 16 millimeter Sigma 1.4 lens. And then I have the Sony a7 III with my Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter 2.8. So I wanted to show you guys that these lenses are very different in the fact that they have very um, different apertures. This one is a 1.4, which means there's gonna be a lot more light being let in and it's going to have a blurrier background and then this is a 2.8 which means you're going to have to bump up the iso and lower the shutter speed to get that bright light um and it doesn't have the blurry background so why did i buy the tamron it's literally only because the wide angle like nothing else really um because like i said i just am a sucker for blurry backgrounds and honestly it's really hard to find a wide angle lens that has a lower aperture. I did see a couple actually, but either they were just way too heavy or they were prime lenses. And since I do want to use this lens for my go-to everything, like getting B-roll, getting you know the talking shots, I wanted it to be a zoom lens, which means that the aperture is probably going to be a 2.8. So another big reason why I bought this Tamron lens, let's fix the lighting because I know it's probably dark. I bumped up the ISO to 2500, which I really never do. That is kind of high for me just because I'm worried about graininess and especially when I color grade it, I just want, you know, all the information to be there. But with this lens, it's kind of inevitable that you're going to have to do that. Right now it is a gloomy day, but most of the time I will probably not be in the best lighting situation. So that is going to be very interesting. Don't know what I'm gonna do in those situations. Another huge reason I got this lens is because of the weight. A lot of the other zoom lenses that I was interested in, like I was thinking about getting the 16 to 35 Sony lens, but they were all huge and they weighed so much. And so if I'm gonna be vlogging with this camera, I want it to be light enough so that my arm doesn't hurt. But I mean, honestly, it is still kind of heavy. It's a heavy setup. I mean, the camera itself is pretty heavy compared to my Sony a5100. Um, but the weight of this lens is 14 ounces. So it'll be interesting to switch from this pretty small and compact setup. This lens is pretty long, but other than that, it is a pretty light setup to this setup right here. This lens is kind of long too, but I mean, compared to my other lenses for this camera, it is more compact and like I said, just weighs a lot less. For the rest of the vlog, I'm gonna to try to use the Tamron 17 to 28 millimeter 2.8 and see how it performs throughout this vlog. Like I said, please comment down below which one you like better. Do you like my old setup? Do you like the new setup? Do you like seeing a wider angle? Do you like seeing the mess in my freaking house? Let me know. I just feel like it gives a cool vibe, but I'm honestly still really torn. I'll definitely be adding some test shots compared to a couple other lenses and thinking about maybe like the 24G Master and then um, the old vlog setup just so you guys can really see how wide this lens is and i also forgot to play around with the zoom let's check it out oh my god wait it wasn't even all the way at 17 millimeters okay now it's all the way 
I'm sorry about that, but I mean, it was like pretty close to it. So this is 17 millimeters and then I'm kind of scared to zoom in on my face, but here we go. All right, this is 28 millimeters. I wonder what you can see. Another thing about vlogging on this lens is that you can't see yourself. I do have a tool from Amazon. It's basically this mirror contraption that you kind of like lift your screen like a 90 degree angle and then the mirror bounces off and then you can see yourself. It's not like the biggest screen, but it does help sometimes. So I might have to use that, especially for like vlogging at home and not in public, that might be helpful. Um, I'll link that tool down below because it's literally like $20. And if you don't have a flip up screen, this is very, very helpful. Um, but if I don't get to adding the test shots today, I'll definitely add them from another day because I do want to just compare them to other stuff so that it will be easier for you guys to decide, you know, if you guys should get this lens. I put y'all back on the 16 millimeter with the A5100 because I wanted to show you guys the tool I was talking about earlier. So you do have to take this, um, what's it called? Like an eye cap thing. You have to take that off in order for it to like actually show a lot of the area. And then you just tilt this kind of like that. And then this has like a hot shoe plate. As you can see, there's just like mirrors. And this goes this way. And then you just screw it on and there you go. You can see the little image there. I honestly have never really used it for vlogging, but I only really used it for the purpose of seeing myself when I'm doing fashion hauls and stuff like that. Um, but this is really cool, very helpful, and I like the wide angle. You can see the lighting, you can adjust it, which is gonna be very helpful. So this might be my new vlogging setup. <laughs> it's, it's a little intense, I will say, but I feel like it will be worth it for the quality We'll see. We'll see later on in this video, but I actually just cleaned up my apartment, at least the living room. So I thought I would do a couple of test shots just of the space itself because another reason why I got this lens is because I actually have a part-time job at a student housing company um, and I'm their content creator. So I go and take photos and videos of the properties that they have and it would be very helpful if I had something wider than a 24 because I find myself in a bedroom and it's you know a student housing bedroom is not huge so it would be great to have a wider angle lens to get you know the whole space um so I think that's going to be really really helpful so first impressions I'm really happy with the lens I'm really glad I got it I think it's going to be really versatile especially because it zooms I just Gotta get used to this like big ass setup. I don't think I'm gonna like really have it on the tripod, especially if I'm out in public. But honestly, like this setup right here, the Sony A5100 with the 16 millimeter, I had to get used to because this lens is pretty like long this way. So I thought that was chunky. So I don't know. I think it's just obviously you have to get used to anything you vlog with. Currently filming on the Sony a7 III with the Tamron lens. Let's check the autofocus. Pretty good. Eh, could have been faster. I'm standing at the corner of my room right now and you get a pretty wide angle view. Now we are filming on the Sony a5100 with a 16 millimeter 1.4 lens. As you can tell, it is a lot closer and this is what I mean by it kind of looks like a 24 millimeter because it is just so much closer on a crop sensor camera. Like I said, I can't put this 16 millimeter on my Sony a7 III because it will give a vignetting kind of effect and you don't want that. So this is what it looks like. I'm standing in the same place and yeah, it's very close up actually compared to that wide angle lens. I honestly didn't realize it was this close up. This honestly just looks like I'm using a 50 millimeter. I feel like every Friday I am just like, okay, I'm gonna create content today. I'm gonna make TikToks. I'm gonna make YouTube videos. I'm gonna do all the things because I have Fridays off. I only work a part-time job. And then my other stuff is just like my freelance stuff and then YouTube. Um, but then Friday comes around and I don't wanna do anything. It always just ends up being so much computer work like emails from brands and then 
uh, you know, just booking photo sessions and everything. I'm doing fall minis this Sunday, so I was just kind of making sure everyone had a perfect time slot that they could attend. And so then there's no time for creating content, which is so annoying. But I wanted to show you guys these leather pants that I got from Abercrombie & Fitch. I didn't get these at the time that I did my Abercrombie haul, so I wanted to show you guys here. They're pretty self-explanatory, but I really like the way they fit me. Um, I did order the short at first, and then I had to exchange them for the regular because it was just a little too short for my legging because I want them to be like able to go into my Doc Martens or, you know, I didn't want them to be like too cropped or something. So I went with the regular. Currently filming on the Sony a7 III with the Tamron lens. I'm standing at the corner of my room right now and you get a pretty wide angle view. Now we're gonna switch to my old vlogging setup. I wanted to do a quick clip in the car so that you can see how wide it is. I feel like it looks good, but like I said, I can't really see. Um, I took that little tool off. I just arrived at one of my client's houses for a shoot, but it's like only 30 minutes and we just need to like knock it out so unfortunately I can't do any test shots on her but I promise y'all I'll get some test shots like I said if it isn't today then I'll do it like this weekend but um yeah this is what it looks like in the car it is a pretty gloomy day so, so I did have to bump up the ISO pretty high but this is 17 millimeters and this is oh nope that was not the zoom okay <laughs> that was the focus ring this is 17 millimeters and then this is 28 so yeah, it's a little, probably a little too close, but. I'm home from a shoot. I shot with a blogger and she was working with Whole Foods and she did this whole like Thanksgiving tablescape and apparently they gave her double the food. So she sent me home with um, butternut squash, mac and cheese, and a freaking green bean casserole. And it was perfect because I literally had a whole freaking chicken from Trader Joe's that I've been meaning to cook. Um, and so now it's perfect. I get to cook my chicken and have sides. Um, as you can tell, it's obviously a little bit darker, especially because it's like gloomy today. It, it was just not very sunny for <laughs> very long. Um, and these are all the light. Well, I have the living room lights, but these are all the kitchen lights that I have. So this 2.8 situation, you know, I wish it just like was a 1.4 because it is already up to 2000 ISO and at a 100 shutter speed. And I don't really like to go below like 125 or really like 200 shutter speed. Honestly, just in case I ever need to do slow-mo, um, you're supposed to have a higher shutter speed for it to be like a really smooth slow-mo. So I just wish the aperture was a little bit lower, but I am going to cook all this, heat it up. It honestly just came in these like pre-packaged things. But this is huge. I'm not sure if me and Ryan will even like finish all of this, but it was so nice of her to give it to us um, because we definitely would have eaten out tonight. And there's this new restaurant called Abba. I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's turn on these lights. Oh, I forgot. Those lights don't freaking work. Okay, I wanted to show you guys this little tool and I got it on Amazon and it is a mini ring light for your phone. Let's see how this can work. Beautiful, but I don't know what to attach it to. Dang it. I was like, maybe I can use this for my vlog setup, but that would be very aggressive, I think. Ah, oh, dang it. I wish I could just like clip it to something on this freaking camera. I could probably buy something, but yeah, I don't know. This is a little bit excessive, but I will link this thing down below. It's from Amazon, literally like, I want to say $15. So worth it, especially if you guys like talk on your stories a lot. I find it really helpful, especially when I'm doing like stories in my bathroom and the lighting is just not very flattering. It just like kind of evens everything out. So check this out, link down below, seriously. It's amazing and it hasn't run out of battery yet. We'll see how long it lasts. Mm. Smells good. We're this having... is the first cold front. It must be a colder one on Monday. This is really cold. About like 20 more degrees. We're having Thanksgiving early. Yeah. Yes. We were lucky because we didn't have any in the fryer. Oh yeah, baby. <coughs> we got some bubbly. I haven't tried this one. We love us uh, some sparkling water. Is that kombucha? What the f Did you buy that for you? Yeah. Interesting. You know why? Yeah, I wanna know why. 
I was listening to Matthew McConaughey on uh, Joe Rogan's podcast. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, Joe yeah, Rogan, Joe Rogan. <laughs> kombucha out of a pickle jar, so. Oh. I thought you were going to say wine glass. That's what all the cool girls do these days. Matthew McConaughey and Billy Cool. I had this chicken from Trader Joe's, so it was perfect that she gave us all sides. But we're having an early Thanksgiving. This is the wide angle, and this is the 28. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. It's another freaking gloomy day, but I'm headed to brunch with my friend Cicely, so we're gonna go check out Two Hands. It's a new place on South Congress. Hi. And we're about to order avocado toast, like some basic ass bitches. My but Oh, that's really cute. Right. That looks good. <laughs> this place is really adorable. Very Instagram aesthetic. We love that. Just got finished with breakfast and it was so good. It was so good. Not only was it beautiful, but <laughs> delicious. I got the SoCo toast and she got the regular avocado toast. We obviously changed because we we're gonna go take some photos, have a little content day. Finally done shooting. We shot so many outfits. I'm so glad. Like, I really needed content. This was amazing. I'm just trying to, you know, get used to vlogging in public with this chunky ass camera. We were just talking about the M50, the Canon M50 that a lot of vloggers have. And I feel like it might be as chunky as this camera I think or like. It's chunkier. Like, chunkier? I've seen it in person and okay. it feels like the body's bigger. The lens is the same. Got it. But Got the, it. I feel like the body's bigger. So I'm just like, if other people can do it, I feel like I can do it, but... It's easier with two people, too. Yeah. One that you're not by yourself. Yes, I agree, I agree. But also, like, I feel like people in Austin just don't give two shits. Like, they don't. they're like, okay, yeah. just like, you do you, I'll do me kind of thing, which is... That's Amazing. Leave, <laughs> I realized I did not close out this vlog, so I'm doing it today, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the test shots. Please let me know what you guys prefer. Do you like this setup with the Sony a7 III and the wide angle lens, which is the Tamron 17 millimeter to 28 millimeter 2.8, or do you like the Sony a5100 with my 16 millimeter? I was looking back on the footage and I did not realize that the 16 millimeter was so close to my face. It's actually kind of insane because like I said, it's really not a 16 millimeter since it's on a crop sensor camera, but comment down below. What do you guys prefer? And also if you guys are in the market for a lens, what lens are you going to buy next? I think the next lens that I will buy is probably a macro lens. That one can probably wait a while since I won't be using it on an everyday basis. It's just something fun to use every once in a while for like product shots if I need to do something for a brand. A while back I actually posted a video all about my old vlogging setup which is the Sony a5100 and all the lenses that I've used on it. If you guys are a beginner vlogger or just want a really compact vlogging setup, definitely check out that video because it's just a really good quality camera and it's really, really affordable. So like I said, I'll have the link down below and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.